So our first event of this week is International Dinner. It's a very good event because it encourages sort of community spirit. It celebrates different cultures. It celebrates different parts of the world. And it's a chance for all the religious and cultural societies to get involved and engaged with the SU as well. Um, this event is very standard. We tend to have a massive buffet. You tend to have um, food from different parts of the world. Um, some of the societies have those stalls where they're given more information about their culture, about their country, about something of their background. And it's a chance for people to learn. And we at St. George's are so lucky because literally we are probably one of the most multicultural and diverse universities out there. So uh, an event like this is just one, very easy to run, but number two is such a good experience and fulfilling experience because you get to learn from so many people. This event is probably the biggest heritage event that's there, which is why it's actually run by the heritage officers, um, and it's called Ones with Eight. The aim of the game is that it's a massive pub crawl. You go from pub one to pub eight, Ones with Eight, and the first family to do so and get all the stickers at each pub becomes the winner and they win a massive bar tab at the end of it. Now, traditionally, this event used to be one that was pretty much independent. SU wasn't really involved. You might have one or two stewards there, but because of some incidents and some things that have happened over the past few years, it just was easier if the SU was involved in the management of it in the sense that you sort of hurry and push people along because people tend to get stuck at pub one, two, three, four and forget that there's actually four more left to go. And the last few are actually the better ones because you have the element of a club night even at the end of it. So you'd rather want to go there as soon as possible rather than be stuck at the first few. Um, it's great for the local pubs because they get to have a lot of business and they make a ridiculous amount of money overnight. Um, it's good for us because we get to show people the different areas that's around the university and campus. But it's probably one of the most stressful events because you have the whole, normally you're in the SU and you have to just watch over a, a, like a limited space. Now it, there's just a whole world they can go to. And this is where you kind of have to have that element of understanding that people are adults and they are responsible for their actions. But at the same time, you want to do your best to sort of help people out. So it can be tricky in that sense. But if you have the right team, if you have a good plan and you just keep pushing people along towards the end of uh, the route and get to the final pub then it's a lot easier because then people just have to go home from there so I'm at the first pub right now this is the map for me to follow don't know if that's even gonna be in focus but um, yeah so my role in this is I'm basically the guy who's gonna go to all the pubs at the end so all four, all four of the top four members um, are gonna be around each pub but I'm basically the guy that sort of hurting the sheep sort of telling everyone to like move on because everyone's uh, you know getting along there there's so much noise in the background because there is the Tottenham game on um, against Bayern and uh, yeah the atmosphere has been great so far everyone's having fun but um, yeah I'm gonna now move on to pub 2 and then go along the journey so far it hasn't helped that it's raining like crazy but um, yeah let's see how it goes pub 1 done so I'm just outside the second pub right now and I'm now going to the third one. I was a bit naive because I thought I could just leave my tripod there nice and steady and keep talking but there's like five, 600 people there at one time and that's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna try doing something in editing where I'm just gonna show every pub quickly. The rain and everything doesn't really help um, either but uh, so far no one's dead, everyone's happy, everyone's dressed all right but rain has made it a bit difficult but yeah, let's see how it goes. and it was it was just really fun families dress up people get involved everyone was recognizing each other and by this point loads of friends are made as well we're now into wednesday and this is the biggest event for the sports teams and its sports circle 
all the students finish their lectures early they then go to sports trials you're for instance going to rowing which i did you have the freshest day on the river where they take you in the boats they make you do some stuff on the rowing machines and you get to see the boathouse and all the people there um for all the different sports respectively they have different activities going on then you all go back in your coaches you go home get dressed put on some kind of spire that's there for, i think for rowing it's blue shirts sort of brown trousers and then it's it's the rowing tie i might be wrong you know, i hope none of them are watching it if they are I'm very very sorry essentially you come there and you have a massive circle in that you play different games with drinks involved and if you don't drink which I don't and I was still involved in it it's still absolutely fine because people still are integrated and you know you learn different songs different chants and and it's just absolute chaos towards the end of the night most of the night it tends to be fine because we make sure every team has got a particular spot in the bar you make sure that you have a meeting with them before that to discuss all those ground rules you also make sure that there's at least one representative from each team too that are sober so that if there's a problem with someone they can look after them and if they need to arrange transport for them they can take them home but the things that are challenging from the management side is just to make sure that people don't get too excited they don't stand on the furniture they don't break the furniture they don't go crazy with their games because ultimately the day after someone has to clean all of that we still got other fresh events going on so it's in that sense it's very challenging and very tricky you know, i still think the funniest incident i ever had actually going through all the different rules in our meetings you know saying you can't stand on furniture you can't throw things around you can't do things like that and um within the first 15 minutes uh of one of these you know circles someone broke all three rules just as i was walking past normally in that kind of situation you go talk to the individual you you know just say please can you just respect the rules but because there's already so much tension from all the different sports teams and everyone's got that rivalry i remember seeing everyone around me just stand up so we're talking like a few hundred people just stand up and just go oh <laughs> because they all know that you know there's going to be some kind of consequence there and because of the way that individual was behaving and because of all the stuff that was going on we had to ask them to leave it was almost like in cricket you know when someone bowls and they have the review and then they say out i remember having to just say you know that person has to go out and the whole floor was shaking from people just celebrating in joy from all the different sports teams and just you know singing he's going home And I remember just it on the on the inside I was so scared because I was like I don't know what's going to come my way and naturally that you know that whole team came and said to me you know you can't get rid of him come on this that give him a chance but ultimately rules are there we make everyone aware of them and so you know but I just I just remember that it's just such a big story because it was one of the scariest uh, moments of my life because I just remember saying to myself inside you know hold it together hold it together but on the outside everyone screaming around me half the teams are in joy the, then there's another group of people that are not happy about it and trying to find a way to deal with them and you just have to hold your nerve and make sure that when you be careful with the decisions you make but once you make the decision you have to stick with it and uh, that's what we did in that case and the bar managers the other security team they all agreed with it and it was the right way to go so we got now to the penultimate event of the freshers and it we had a rag quiz now rag stands for raising and giving and uh, George is traditionally we had a very massive community based around rag and there used to be lots of money raised for charity and we used to it used to be very engaging but over the years because so many societies have now decided to do fundraising on their own there's different ways of doing it there's different engagements like go fund me's and so on and so forth and just giving pages and there are so many different ways to do it now it's become so diluted that you that there's not really one real rag and you know it also depends on the charities officers elected and if you don't have charities ele officers elected at all or ones that maybe don't particularly want to push rag or they want to push something else then rag sort of dies out a bit this quiz is basically just a, a a normal pub quiz it's a very nice way to sort of wind down we can host so many people on the bar easily all you need is a quiz master at the beginning we can we we easily were able to find one he was able to host it for a very good price and he goes through a series of questions you know different types of rounds and we were able to give out some prizes there but again because of the kind of location we have because of the kind of bar we have it was very easy to host and a very nice chilled night so even if someone is on duty for that night or watching over that night for them it's just a very easy experience throughout and that brings us to the final event of fresh years which is thank fuck it's friday 
people try to go big on this night. So we've had in the past <laughs> Tinchy Strider who came and performed XB theme night. We've had a tropical theme night. We've had deals with Red Bull and other companies. And you know, it's just, it's all of that never works because at this point in the two week period, people are exhausted, people are tired. They just, you know, no, no one's really got the energy to be one, drinking that much more and two, to be going to another clubbing night again. And normally the, lo the, the sort of big clubs in, in London tend to have something going on as, as an alternative anyway. So the smart thing to do is to find an event that's easy to run and just see how, how many people attend based on that. And for us, we were quite lucky because the bar normally tends to host this as, as like a music night. And we were just able to say, well, to schedule it towards the end of Freshers. But you will always have a minimum amount of people there. We were always going to get a DJ or someone there anyway. Um, so this way, it's just about making sure that we can also accommodate the Freshers. And as expected, not many people came because not many people had the energy to. But from our side, we didn't end up investing too much money and then making a massive loss. And, and yeah, it was just a very nice way to end the whole Freshers period and know that I didn't make any big mistakes there. And we are finally done. <laughs> Thank you.